Hi guys, welcome to the channel. It's lovely to see you. Um, my name is Claire, this is Polly Put The Petal On and today I'm going to be making that, well I've been saying about it all week haven't I, the Home Bargains Pink Rose Wreath. So here's the pink roses. I brought two bunches to the table. This wreath is for my friend and she chose her colours. She wanted pinks, greens and a little bit of purple. So I brought some purple um, filler. I bought some extra pink filler um, and I have bought some beautiful lime hydrangea. I love this and I love that colour. Um, before I go on, um, oh well I'll just show you the base actually. So I've greened it up. So this is an evergreen base as, as I usually do. Evergreen base which is a Christmas uh, garland which I have attached to this wreath ring um, and then I've just picked out some um, I think this is Ruscus and this is asparagus fern and I've broke it up, broke, I had two bunches, broke them up, um, you know, and greened up my evergreen wreath. So that's my base. Um, before I go on, I just wanted to say, now I think it was Norma and if it, if I'm wrong, I apologise. Um, because just offhand now when I've got the camera in front of me, I can't go into my into my comments box to see who it was that asked about this um, spray, which I used on this Poundland um, candle candle holder um, that I created this this out of. Um, it's this it's this spray. spring florist deco spray um and that's in the gold so yeah <clears throat> that's that's what i used for that so without further ado shall we get on with this and um because i'm looking forward to making this i haven't done any flowers for a, a short time um oh, i can hear those birds outside um so I'm going to start with my pink roses and I we will go on time lapse we will dip in and out of time lapse too guys just to save just to save time so you know I'm going to start with my pink roses because they are the focal of this wreath today and this is for my friend Mary. I'm only cutting them now. You don't need to see this at the minute. Uh, this is for my friend Mary. Um, sometimes you haven't got the strength. This is for my friend Mary's door, front door. She's just had it painted and she wanted something um, nice for her door. I'm quite right so. I, but I really love it when they come to me. My, my, my friends ask me to, to do things or, or, or my family and stuff. I really enjoy doing it. If I've got the headspace and I've got the flowers and I've got the time, you know, I'm more than happy to help out. Um, so yeah, so let's get on now. So basically, I'm just going to place my uh, I don't know whether you're tilted because it looks as if you're tilted in the in the foam cradle, guys. So I'm going to stand up too. I don't know how long that will last. Uh, and all I do initially, guys, as you as you if you've been with me a while, you'll know that that um, I place I place my flowers first before I glue in. <clears throat> That's a little bit long, that stem. Yeah, I like to get my, my placements perfect, really. Now that's hitting that greenery there, so just nudge it across a little bit. Um, So how many have I got now? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know whether to do six, guys, because I've got six blooms. Um, so if I scooch one across, just a little. Uh, 
I normally like to do odd numbers, but let's see how this works. You see, and already that pink on that green, you know, is beautiful, isn't it? I love it, you know, I really do. This two, because it's like a two-tone green. So we've basically made a start. And then I'm going to go on the inside, guys, with my buds. Okay, you see, and then we mustn't forget the outside because, of course, you know, if, if this is on a door, let me tip you up. I've said it a, a few times now. If it's on a door, you know, and you're going to see it from the side, you know, not just the top. So you do need to get your flowers in the side as well. You know, I'm loving this pink against the, um, against this green. So hang on, before I go in with that pink rose, let's have a look at this. Sorry about that guys. Yeah, I'm going to go and have a little... Definitely. Right, we're going on time lapse, folks. So, this is what we've got so far, guys, which is absolutely lovely. I love it. It's not, none of it's glued in yet. But it will be. But I've just taken it into the hallway and I've... Um, that mirror is no use to me, And uh, honestly. You know, I used to stand there and old, old, hold my things up to the, to the mirror. And I changed the mirror out and that is absolutely pants. So I'm going to have to change it again. <clears throat> it's always good when you are making a wreath or some flowers or... This is my... Personally, for me... You know, because when you're doing it and you either whether you're sat and, you know, you're doing it and spinning it round or whether you stood on top of it, you know, it's always good to then go and stand in front of a mirror and hold up um, what you've made, what you're making. Look at its shape, look at its form, look at its, um, its rhythm and its balance and stuff, you know, it's always good to do that. So I've just been into the hallway and... Um, I'm thinking it's lacking, you know, I've got those buds on the outside. It's definitely lacking. So I'm going to put more pink roses in. Um, <clears throat> about three. So... One there. Uh, one there and one here I think and then what I might do is even use some more of this I mean I've still got three roses left but I don't think I want to overdo the roses guys I think that's enough you know, uh, but I think what I might do is break some of those pips down and um, even add a little bit of this. I don't know whether you can see. So I'm just going to go and hold it up again. I'm 
back guys I've, I am really happy with this so I glued it I've glued it all in off camera it's just lovely just those elements the texture those beautiful pink home bargains roses they look they work really nice guys don't they so now this is this is me <laughs> uh with the glue so now i am going to i don't think i want to add any of this this but i'm, I'm going to take a piece well there's a piece here a loose piece here so i'm going to see let me tip you down But I don't think it calls for the white, to be honest. No, I don't think it does. I mean, let's let's just try another look. Hmm. It is lovely. Uh let's just put a little a little sprinkle of this. A little sprinkle. nice and full and um, it's very pretty I know Mary's gonna love this I make Mary quite a few things she she does ask me and, and uh, like I say I, I really like it when um, when my friends ask me to do things for them Especially, really, if the, I mean, Mary did give me a briefing, but that's it. Then she gives me free reign. I, you know, I find making things for other people quite stressful, to be honest. Um, especially if they say, oh, I want it this, that and the other. And I think, oh, it, it just gives me anxiety. I, you know, that is the truth. I get anxiety. I couldn't take orders. What I mean is, I couldn't, um, you know, if somebody said, you know, this is my thing, I need free reign to do what I like. I think I've said it before, there's a lady in America and she asked on a Facebook post and she said, you know, what's the worst thing about making uh, wreaths? And I said, making for other people. And she said, I don't make for other people. And basically, she was right. She doesn't. She she because she has an Etsy shop, and she literally makes what she likes, and then puts it in the Etsy shop. But she's a very successful lady. Um, and I thought, yeah, well, that's a great way to do it, isn't it? But you know, things like this. Mary just gave me a briefing, and she said to me, you know, I mean, look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Even though I do say so myself, it needs some white light going into the centre. I've just seen it in the camera, so that's what I'm going to do. I think I'll get some more of this jip. This white jip. It's just that those roses in the centre there look as if they are doing it alone. And so we'll go in between of those with a little bit of light, which is coming off the jip. So yeah, she's gonna love this, Mary is, I know she is. And I think maybe another piece down there. I don't know, I hope you can see guys. 
So your eyes going in, it's going around. Well, it's not going around, it's going around. And I think I may as well use the rest of this up, but only in small bits. Maybe well, I've got four, so I'm gonna use, ow, I've cut myself, I think. Not quite. Lethal, those, um, those wire cutters, absolutely lethal. Right, so I'll go there. I've got four, so one. I'll go here, because I can see a space. And I'll go here. And I'm going to go here. And I actually really, really love that. Beautiful. Do I, do I need to add any more of this? Tiny sprinkle, perhaps. Super lovely. I'll go have a look in my mirror and come back. I'm super happy with it, guys. Really happy. It's gorgeous. And you wouldn't believe, would you, that it's that. Started off as a Christmas garland and a wire circlet, you know. Let me show you. is super lovely let's just fluff it a little bit i absolutely love these colors guys love them so i think that's it for today folks i hope you've enjoyed this video i know i've had you on uh <laughs> i've been on i've been off we've been fast we've been slow but I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've been able to take something out of the video. You know, uh, those Home Bargains roses are absolutely fantastic for the price. One ninety nine for a bunch of nine, three buds, six blooms. And, um, you know, I've used, I've used uh, two bunches bar three blooms. Um, I have used one one two three four five six of those six of these uh, but i've still got some left and i will be using that myself because you know i've seen this now and i want to make make something for me i just love it beautiful colors beautiful nice fresh says hello summer uh lots of nice little details in it uh lots of texture rhythm balance and Mary is going to be over the moon. I hope you really liked that video, guys. I hope you like this, you know, this little flower. This little flower chat and stuff. And um, I really look forward to seeing you in the next one. The next one will be on Sunday at 7pm. And that's that charity shop challenge. <laughs> I'm cringing, guys, because, you know, we'll, we'll see. Well, you'll see when you see it. Um, and yeah, so that's at 7pm. And then I think I'm going to resume normal schedule next week. And I'll, I'll it, because I'm doing one on Sunday, so I think I'll be back on Tuesday, possibly, uh, with... I think I'm going to do myself a summer wreath, guys. Depending on what happens over the weekend, you know, 
I've, I've got a wreath in mind and well I've got two actually <clears throat> in fact <clears throat> I think I'm actually going to stick to my guns and do one of my summer wreaths to have on my back door for my son's uh, barbecue next weather permitting that is we we are aware that we live in Britain <laughs> um, weather permitting I might hang the because it is it just screams summer so stick around for that one guys and that will be on tuesday after the sunday one at seven o'clock uh which is a later upload for me seven o'clock uh, and i don't really upload on a on a sunday either so do keep your eyes peeled for that one <laughs> i'm not gonna say anything else so thank you so much for joining me today thank you for watching and do let me know in the comments, um, you know, if you like this wreath, if you've been able to take anything from it, if you yourself would make anything with the Home Bargains roses, because um, they're cheap enough, guys, you know, one ninety nine. And uh, if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to ask and uh, I answer every comment and uh, I will definitely, and almost as soon as you've asked it, really, um, because I like to chat with you guys, as you know. Um, and I'll let you know what Mary thinks of this. In fact, I'll try and get a picture of it on her door. Okay, thanks very much. Bye. Mm -hmm.